The next one I have is sort of like a triple box set which my brother got in Music World in the Golden Island Shopping Centre in Ireland. And it's sort of like you know, a box set of films. And it like sort of has both Collier's Way, Scarface and the movie Casino. I'm gonna open it up. Okay. See this here's Collier's Way, Scarface and Casino. And well it's sort of like I didn't really I thought like, you know, Carlito's way. Basically that film sort of about, you know, Al Pacino is an ex drug lord and he's fighting to escape his vicious his violent treacherous path and Sort of, he sprung from prison on a legal technicality by sort of by his attorney, played by Sean Penn, who was like his drug problem. And like, you know, Al Pacino stuns the local underworld when he vows to give up, you know, crime. And despite his good intentions, his misguided loyalties, and outline the code of honor or conjure into a savage or fight or death battle against the relentless forces that refuse to let him go. And really, I thought, like, you know, Kalito's way was kind of alright. And the next one here is Scarface. And it's sort of about, like, you know, the port of Mario Harbors opened and thousands set sail for the United States. And the current search and it's sort of, you know, Kali no, 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 Scarface going into the, um, the sort of immigration officers, you know, try to get into America, get to America and start, like, you know, all this crime, and, which has a really cool ending, where it's like, you know, him going mad in his mansion, going, like, you know, say hello to my little friend! <laughs> like, it's kind of a cool film. And, um, the last one here in this triple feature box set is Casino. Which is sort of, you know, Martin Scorsese's picture. It's sort of, like, about the mob's million, multi billion dollar casino operation. And it's sort of, you know, Robert Casino. Robert De Niro runs a casino and you know Joe Pesci is like his friend who is like his mob boss who tries to um sort of rob money off him and that sort of stuff and I thought like out of the the only one was what the only one was watching casino so it sort of has like you know, Right, good. And since I mean, come on, just well, Scarface was two hours and forty-four minutes. It says here, and on the DVD, it's two hours and forty-two minutes. Okay, I really, I didn't really get that. Why did they just put in the wrong running time? I don't know, but I'm sort of trying to. I sort of, I tried to watch all of these before doing this, so, um, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, but, um, Casino, Casino is a good movie, check that out. Next one I have is Intermission, which is what my brother has, this is my brother's, but I thought I might show it anyway. And I sort of, I didn't really get, I like watched the first, like sort of the first 12 minutes of this. It's sort of about Colin Farrow, I don't know, it's sort of about like, um, a misguided breakup, like Killian Murphy and Kelly McDonald break up. And it initiates a series of events that affect everyone around them with with cataclysmic force from the hell-raising petty thief to the maverick detective 
to the sex stars single guy and beyond the fuck. And they're like all involved officially like unaware of how the actual nature is buying them together. And I actually thought like this was kind of alright. You know, from the first from like the first twelve minutes. Okay, I thought like the first twelve minutes to this. I've tried to watch them all but please don't get mad at me. I'm just reading what's off the cut what's off the back cover. Okay, and the next one I have is sort of that's one that I did watch. It's I want this is like my first ever fifteen film like that I saw the first ever film that was given a fifteen rating that I saw in cinemas because it saw my birthday and I'm like fifteen now. And it's you know it knowing. It's sort of Nicholas K character. It's sort of the film starts off it's like about a group of these kids in the fifties and they have like the new school is just pretty open and they decide to uh decide to you know, build a time capsule and draw pictures of what's gonna of what the future is gonna look like. And this little girl, like, instead of writing, um, drawing pictures, she writes, like, random numbers on the piece of paper, and they get put in the time capsule. And, and, um, 50 years later, like, Nicholas Cage's son gets a sheet of paper in his hand, and is, like, sort of, he gives this to his dad, and his dad, like, gets, like, to, um, solve it, and he discovers, like, this is whole, like, the piece of paper is actually dates of major disasters that have happened over 50 years, like, 9-11, that sort of stuff, and there's three more left who's trying to prevent them from happening. And I thought, I thought this was an alright film because out of Alex Proyas' films, like this was directed by Alex Proyas who was the director of iRobot. iRobot was kind of my first film that I saw that was given a 12A rating, although I saw it like two years early before I was 12 because I was in America at the time the film was coming out and due to its PG-13 rating I got in because my mum bought my ticket and I don't know, I thought I robot was alright, it was kind of good like when I first saw it but knowing, knowing was much better although my dad, like, when we walked out, I went and saw this with my dad and we walked out of it and my dad didn't get it my dad didn't get the plot didn't get like the whole ending to it and um I thought this was kind of a good film, you know. I wanted to get on Blu-ray, but I'm talking to getting it on DVD. So, um, it's kind of good. 